Major changes are coming for Illinois workers. The new Paid Leave Act starts today. The Illinois Department of Labor Director Jane Flanagan joining us now to break down what this all means. Good morning to you, Jane, and Happy New Year, by the way. Good morning. Happy New Year, and thanks for having me. Okay, so explain this new law. What is paid leave, and how is it going to work? Sure. So under the new law, all workers in Illinois are eligible or most workers in Illinois are eligible to earn up to 40 hours or five days of paid leave for any reason. Uh, the law kicks into effect January 1st and workers are eligible to take that leave 90 days later. Okay, so when will people actually be able to get that, that extra time off? I mean, it goes into effect today. Um, that means they can start taking this time today. How is that going to work for these individual employees uh, in the long run as they look forward to the new year? Sure. So, yes, if, if it kicks in today, they'll be eligible to take it 90 days later. So that's about March 31st. And then from there on, say you start a new job in February, 90 days after that start date is when you could start to take that accrued leave. Again, you're only going to earn um, one hour for every 40 hours work. So it may take a while for employees to start accruing that leave. Okay, so one And it's hour. also important to note that if you already have paid leave provided by your employer for that you can use for any reason, this new law probably isn't going to affect you. It won't impact you. Okay, so what happens as they accrue this time if they aren't able to use all of that paid leave for whatever reason? Is it then kind of rolled over into the new year or is it lost? How's that work? That's right. So if you're accruing it as you work, then you can roll it over into the next year. But the employer can put a cap on how much you use in a year, that 40 hours in a year. I'm curious, how does the Illinois Department of Labor enforce this? Um, and what is your role and how do you get involved? Absolutely. So the Illinois General Assembly, our legislature passes laws like this. And then it's up to the department in this case to enforce the law. So right now we're really focused on working with employers to help understand the new law, help them come into compliance, um, you know, working with workers to understand their rights. And if after that 90 days workers aren't earning paid leave and they believe they're eligible or they're not allowed to take it, then they can file a complaint with us and we'll investigate and try to resolve the issue. You know, I think a lot about restaurant workers because this has been such a key issue for them. This was the topic that came up. Um, but what are some of the top occupations that will actually benefit from this in addition to them? Yeah, so I think you're right. It's really those occupations that haven't traditionally gotten any kind of paid leave, like restaurant workers. Um, we may have salons, retail workers uh, who, you know, work hourly and uh, don't get any paid time off right now. Okay, so what do you suggest to maybe some of the people that fit into the category that you just defined? What do they need to do to kind of educate themselves and learn more about what this means for their rights? Great question, thanks. Yeah, so one thing is feel free to go to our website. It's DOL, or I'm sorry, it's labor.illinois.gov backslash paid lead. So labor.illinois.gov, we've got lots of information there. We also have the required poster that workers um, can look at in their workplaces. Employers should start putting it up in break rooms, on websites, um, and that kind of has a breakdown of uh, different information about the law as well. I know a lot of workers are looking forward to this. Jane Flanagan with the Illinois Department of Labor. Thank you so much for joining us. And again, Happy New Year to you. Thank you for having me. Take care.